Today I'm going to do a video about internet connectivity on the Commodore 64, uh, basically dealing with uh, BBS's terminal emulation, what have you. This is going to just talk about the connectivity itself, it's not going to talk about BBS's um, and some uh, problems that I've been seeing with uh, uh, some of the software that I've been using. So uh, maybe you could bring this to a discussion. Uh, the hardware is going to be uh, the GG Labs uh, G Link 232 a cartridge interface, and that's going to be my serial connectivity. This is going to go to a Raspberry Pi, and the Raspberry Pi is going to be uh, using a TCP Sir for uh, connectivity out to the network. And I would like to uh, just discuss how I get it to work and problems that I'm seeing on some of the software that's currently still being developed and maybe I'm doing it wrong and maybe we could find a way to fix what's going on here. Here's a, a Telnet connection into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this has a USB serial device that's going to the Commodore 64 and it's running TCP sir 9600 board to the uh, TTY USB 0 and I've set the logging for 5. Uh, pretty verbose but nothing crazy and that's all that I use uh, to get it going and it's sending the okay response and it's pretty much sitting there waiting for something to happen at this point That's where we want to be and now I'm going to start off by loading up a strike term 2014 which is going to be the first program that I'm going to use uh, This is a piece of software. I've gotten to work, but not through conventional methods We're at the main screen, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, just to demonstrate that everything is working fine, is I'm going to issue a hang-up command with the star, and we'll see the reaction on the Raspberry Pi. We can see that that worked just fine. Next thing I'm going to do is go right to the dialer and hit F5. And here's the dialer, and I'm going to go and select Z for the Commodore server. And we could see the uh, Commodore server with its port is right over here. This is the one that we're going to work with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial that one uh, that's selected right now. see that it uh, falls into a terminal window you would expect it to uh, connect to something and it will never connect and if we take a look at the debug output of TCP sir we'll see why we could see that uh, data was sent and it was probably the correct data but uh, Hayes commands weren't set there was no ATDT uh, set to dial this connection so data was sent out and absolutely nothing happened. Uh, in contrast, I'm going to use the same program, but I'm going to uh, initiate this connection from the terminal using Hayes commands. So what I'm going to try and do now is uh, dial up a BBS directly uh, via the terminal using uh, Hayes command instead. I'm going to use a BBS that will actually return something. So I'll use uh, one in the local area here in uh, Lakeland, Florida. So I hit F3 to get to the terminal and there's no local echo or I didn't turn on local echo so I'll type in ATDT 
um, CIB dot DYN DNS dot org colon and it's 6404 return and you can see that immediately I've been connected to the wrong number BBS and now to detect what type of system I have I hit delete do you want ANZ color yeah sure why not IBM graphics absolutely not and we can see yeah, basic BBS but all we're, we're trying to show is that I was able to connect to BBS with no problem uh, that's all there is to it let's take a look and, and investigate closer uh, what happened in the debug to see why this was successful. We could see this time the system saw an AT command, AT dial, and the actual um, site that it was dialing to, and with that took a modem off the hook and started an entire procedure. Once uh, it was connected at 9600 board, then you saw the data inputted and outputted to the system for that session. What's important was is that this section here uh, for the actual portions that emulate the modem uh, was conducted where the last time when I tried to do it from um, the dialer from the phone book it was just sending uh, uh, one byte back and forth or one byte in uh, at a time to try and dial but it wasn't having any effect on TCP sir as far as being a modem just pushing data the second program we'll be looking at is CCGMS. This is actively developed. This latest release is from uh, 2017 version 5. I believe that this is a uh, open source initiative and it is being developed by multiple people now. So uh, this is on GitHub, uh, available for compilation. So you could download the source code, edit it yourself. Uh, so this has uh, uh, sparked some interest with me because I can get my hands on a copy of this. I found this uh, only a couple of days ago. I knew about the software itself, but I, I did not know that it was on GitHub. I'll also point out that uh, CCGMS is significantly smaller than uh, Strike Term. This took about uh, 30, 35 seconds to load. It's a single file. It's not, it doesn't fill an entire disk. It's just a PRG file. So it's got a much smaller footprint, a lot less overhead. Uh, with that, it probably has a lot less functionality, obviously. But uh, when you start it off here, it looks like it comes directly into the terminal. So what we're seeing here is, is already the terminal, not a menu. The menu bar is just above it. If I hit F7, it take me to the parameters. You know, I change a board rate up to uh, 9600 board, full duplex. And it's already set for my uh, modem type, Swift Link on a hexadecimal address DE, right? And that being said, I, I, I think this is part of the problem here, is that it's saying that this is a modem and, and it's not, it's a serial interface. With that, we're starting to see a pattern of, we're not sending AT commands out to uh, the TCP server that, that it's requiring. So it's not responding to this. I don't think this is an inherent fault of, of either of these programs. I think this is just a, a problem with this not being treated like a modem and TCP are being treated like a modem. So none of this is actually working. So if I come back to this main screen here, we can now try a couple things. We could do the same thing we did before. We could try it via the directory and then we could try it uh, directly from uh, the terminal to go to a BBS. We're gonna go to the dialer with F7 and then I'm gonna hit A for auto dialer, phone book. Right, and they do have one in there, is Commodore server. And I, I'll tell you, I have the screen turned all the way down for the camera, the intensity. So it is very hard for me to see what I'm doing that right here. Right, and I got Commodore server. And what I'm gonna do is call the current number and hit C. We'll see what happens here. So just dialing and I'm looking at the TCP sir and it fell back into the graphic terminal uh, very much like the behavior of the other program and nothing happened.
could see that typing it in directly, I was able to connect to the uh, wrong number BBS without any issue. Let's add ATDT to an unlisted number, see if this works. 6404 and dial. That did not send an AT command. That did not work either. So it looks like this program would be perfect for the task if it simply had another feature here uh, to prepend AT commands to the phone book options before sending uh, these values to the modem. I don't see anything here. I could be wrong. It seems to be the only thing missing is to say, I'm hooked up to a serial interface, send ATDT before you send this out, and send it from the terminal, not as a bit, as a, as a communication to a modem. Because once you set uh, something to G-Link, as I've shown before, um, or SwiftLink, uh, it's saying this is a serial interface, it's not a modem, it doesn't have haze commands, and therefore don't use it. This seems to be a limitation of this program and the other program strike term. So this is my observation. Thanks for watching.